Hi everybody. So we've got a special video to start this week. Uh, this is an extra video. So we've got four uh, videos this week. I know it's a lot, but I, I like to put them out in order, and this was one that I was, you know, hesitant about. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So between putting the left skin and the right skin on, I thought, let's go ahead and see what I can work on in the fuselage area that I can get to much easier without that second skin on. And what we're working on is the fuel system. Uh, if you just saw, I was holding up two valves. Uh, those come off of the regular fuel valves. One is straight, one is angled. So the system I'm putting in for the fuel injection uses a two-level valve. The standard kit comes with one. It's the same company, so the dimensions are all pretty much identical, which is a good thing. Um, the problem is, I have to create new fuel lines because the, the math is off. The way that the fuel works is, the fuel system works by, you know, we've got tanks in the wings, there's a line from the tank that gets sucked by the fuel pumps out of the tanks through the fuel valve selector, through a, um, you know, a filter, through the pumps, through another filter, and into the engine. Well, my system does all of that but it also has a return line with excess fuel that then goes back through uh, the fuel selector valve again and back into the tank which you're using. Right? Okay, great. So I need two lines now. So what I did was I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and make the fuel line the way that Vans describes it because I want to see if the valve that I have matches in place with the one that they supply with the kit. I'm happy to say that it does. But there's a problem. So what you're going to see later on in this video is that there's composite bracket material that holds the fuel lines going across from the center out towards the wings in place. Now why is that important? Well, so these brackets have two spots for fuel lines. One is the regular line that goes out from the wing uh, to the engine, and then there's one that goes back out to the fuel valve. So Vance has graciously really you know, kind of pre-fit the kit so that should you need a return line everything's in place right the the brackets that hold the lines go back out there's even a nice area that you can obviously tell this is where I'm supposed to drill and put a fitting uh, so that I can have my return line and even when you build the tanks it says look we're gonna go ahead and put a bung in the upper part of this tank should you need a return line later if you don't then just cap it off Great. Now, problem is, um, so it's a the getting back to the brackets that hold the lines in place. Uh, it's two levels, right? And you'll start to see them now that I've put the camera in a better position. So, the line you see me working with there fits perfectly. The upper level of the valve, of the fuel selector valve, connects to that line no problem, and it goes across as you can see, and it goes down. What you can't see is the fitting that's back there. And that's the normal line that 99% of everyone's going to use. Works great. What's the problem, you say? Well, I got a double level valve, right? Because I've got one level that handles the fuel coming out. The other one handles the fuel coming back. So, right now, the upper level of the valve is running a line down the lower part of those brackets. Well, in reality... I need the lower level of the valve to have a line that goes down the lower level of the brackets and the upper level of the brackets will hold the return line that needs to go to the upper level of the valve. Okay, so what are we going to do to fix that? Well, we do a few things. One, unfortunately the brackets uh, unfortunately the brackets are have two different size notches for two different lines. The uh, valve, or I should say the lines that carry the fuel from the tank to the engine are one size, and the ones that are put for the return are pre-measured to be smaller. Because, you know, in theory, you wouldn't be returning as much fuel as you're sending to the engine. However, the fuel injection company, uh, uh, Fly EFI, I, that I'm using suggests always use the same lines for both the sending and the returning. Okay, no problem. Ordered a bunch of it. So one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take those brackets and I'm going to have to oversize uh, half the holes. 
so that they fit the lines that I bought. That was pretty easy. As you'll see in a little bit, I've got a round drill bit that I just put into uh, my drill press, and I use that to ream out the smaller holes in the brackets. Okay, that's that's not bad. But what else am I going to have to do? Well, I'm going to have to make two lines. Not only am I going to have to make two lines, but I'm going to have to do a lot of trigonometry and some maths in order to make sure that now the lower line goes into the lower half of the bracket and that the upper line goes in the upper half. Ultimately, it really wasn't that big of a pain in the butt. Um, I guess I just have a natural affinity for modifying stuff. I don't know what you would call it. It just it it just made perfect sense to me. Um, essentially, it's just a ratio of spaces, right? You see that valve? You see the fuel valve as it's sitting there, and it's got the two little black uh, caps in the front. Those are the two levels of the of it, right? So the two levels of the different lines are 1.25 inches apart. Okay, the t uh, from the centers of the of the pipes, or the two lines, uh, the brackets that hold the lines that go across have basically 0.62 inches between the centers of both of the lines, which is roughly about half the size. So what I needed to do was do the math, and you can see me doing a little bit of trig here. That says, okay, I need the bottom line to fit into the bottom bracket, the top line to fit into the top bracket. How the heck do I do that? There I, you see me scratching my head and getting it all worked out. I am happy to report that I got... Um, I basically got them both on the first try. Here's the thing. Well, here's the thing about the, 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 the plans for this. Vans plans are exceptional, right? Chapter 31 for the RV-14 is the fuel system, and all the lines, the fuel lines, are put onto the pages life-size. Now, they don't really fit on a page life-size because they're about 20 inches across, but all the parts where there are bins are put on the page life-size that even lets you know, like, go ahead and, you know, this is where the flared end of your line goes, here's where you're going to start making the first bend, so you can just lay the line right on the page, mark it with a, uh, a marker or whatever, and start bending away. Kudos to Vans once again. So it was, it was easy. I just used the uh, plans to modify what I needed, and it worked great. Uh, here you can see me modifying the clips so that the lines all fit in place. Worked really well. I'm not sure what that material is, but it's definitely some kind of composite. It's like, it's it's non, it, it's it's definitely like non-conductive and non-abrasive. Cause you know you don't want to crack your fuel lines and you know shoot electricity into them. <laughs> fuel, air, and spark all in one place. You don't want, you don't want that. And there they are. So these are the two lines that I made retrofit to the valve, as you see. And it look, I'm so pleased. Now there's one thing that you don't see. If you look at the upper line, you can see it just kind of goes straight out and kind of leans into the side brace. Um, and that would be a good point. So, right there, Vans has kind of put a hole for you to use. Like, it, it, in case you're going to be returning fuel, this is probably where you're going to want to put it out. Because this is where we have the line. And it fits damn near perfect. So, all I really need to do is drill a hole there. Uh just the right size, retrofit, you know, uh, a nice bung for the fuel, and then later on I'll need a second line to go from there to the return line of the tank, which is no big deal. Once again, van scores. So, so in the next video I'd like to say that we're working on the other side, but I ran out of line, out of line, so I've had to order some more. So, anyway, in the next video we're going to go ahead and start on the right skin. I feel satisfied with the fuel, so, you know. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you soon.